So in summary, there are several techniques that are available to us to use when we have to deal with or regain extensibility in myofascial structures that have lost extensibility or have become shortened. We can use sustained stretch to deal with connective tissue components in these muscles, particularly if there are load-bearing fascias involved. And the best way to do that is with limb load and gravity. Sustained stretch for around about two to three minutes and two to three repetitions or sets of them. When we have an atrophied muscle that has also lost its sensibility, so it's wasting due to post immobilization stiffness and it's lost, lost length, then a contract relax type technique using the process of autogenic inhibition to make the muscle contract first for about seven to 10 seconds. Then when it relaxes, we then passively take it into a new range and try and maintain that range. When we have an upregulated over-recruiting multi-joint muscle that's lost extensibility or it's hypertrophied and short as we often see in chronic and recurrent musculoskeletal pain conditions. The technique of choice is to use reciprocal inhibition to make an antagonist to that muscle contract for around about, uh, seven, uh, sorry, for around about 20 to 30 seconds. So we put the muscle on stretch take it to its end point, support it there, then make an antagonist contract for 20 to 30 seconds. There are two different sorts of antagonists we can contract. So for example, for the hamstrings, we could contract rectus femoris to get reciprocal inhibition, or we could contract the muscles of anterior tilt of the pelvis, the iliacus and the back extensors to provide anterior tilt to reciprocally inhibit the posterior tilt component of the hamstrings. I believe in many situations of chronic and recurrent musculoskeletal pain, it's preferable where possible to use stabilizer muscles in the trunk to provide reciprocal inhibition to these mobilizer muscles in the leg, rather than just to use another mobilizer muscle in the leg to provide reciprocal inhibition to the hamstrings, for example. So the technique of choice for upregulated or hypertrophied or overactive short muscles related to chronic and recurrent musculoskeletal pain would be a process of autogenic inhibition or antagonist contract relax. And what we can also use for any of these situations where there are, where there's contractile tissue upregulation and overactivity as manual stimulation of the myofascial trigger point. Maintaining that stimulation for around about 30 seconds to a minute of constant pressure, creating a sensory mechanical response to change how the muscle uh, its neurophysiology so that we downregulate an overactive muscle and then can regain more length. So the four techniques, sustained stretch, autogenic inhibition, reciprocal inhibition, and two options there, use a limb mobiliser or a trunk stabiliser are our options to do reciprocal inhibition, and then also myofascial trigger point stimulation.